Okay, this is on the refuge job, number 53502, install on 328 to 44 by Aaron. So, what we're doing is we're adding, switching out two furnaces, two ACs, um, with 90% furnaces. We are going to zone them. Right now we have an east furnace, so west furnace, and an east furnace. So, and they both do, so this west one does half of the, half of it does the top floor and half at the bottom. And I actually have it, this is I believe your um, middle area, this dotted line. So we're going to zone this will be one thermostat and this will be one thermostat. On the um, main level, we're just going to have a wired sensor, which are right here on the outside. I believe these are the sensors. Um, but that one we're just going to have wired. Um, the sensor on the top floor, I don't see how we can get up there. So we're going to put wireless sensors on the top floor. So, wired, wired, wireless, wireless in the hallways, I'm guessing. Um, okay, so, um, so these are going to be, you're going to have a Honeywell 3 zone panel with our Zell um, air damper systems. So you're going to have a damper in every single run. So I marked them all out here, um, where they are. So go that route. Um, you'll have to fish tubing from, uh, you know, from the grill all the way into the main area, um, the plenum down into the furnace room. Okay, anyway, so on the west furnace, duct just as it shows. Wait a second. Nope. On the east furnace. That's where I'm at. So the furnace will sit on the 90. I'm going to have a pure air filter box and the furnace will sit on the pure air filter box coil and I just made a little transition um, and I'm going to make it lap fitting um, and your cut line is going to be right there on the return air your cut line is going to be one inch in from each side and right there <coughs> replace the humidifiers with uh, other bypass humidifiers um, I'll give you a new pipe. So this water is, the existing is hot on this one. The one on the other side is coming up the cold. So you need to switch that to the hot. But this side just reuse the hot. Okay. Um, and that dark just as it shows. Um, it should be, this furnace will sit an inch and a half from this wall. I think this one's sitting two inches. Um, but yeah, inch and a half from this wall, and it'll be um, same, lined up same as this one. So you shouldn't have to move the water heater. Okay. Um, combustion air is okay, they're right there. The vent, I'm just gonna go sidewall, just any way you want. The air conditioner is gonna be on the outside of this wall, so just make sure you're not dripping on the air conditioner with the vent. Um, and just make sure you're a foot away from that combustion air grill. Um, but anyway, two inch PVC to flat termination. 
Okay, so the gas. Um, on this one, you're just gonna remove the flex and add a T with the drip leg, a 90 piece of pipe, 90, and then I'll give you um, out of your furnace, and then I'll give you a 90, use it here or here, and then a flex in between. Um, okay. Um, thermostats, you're gonna use the Prestige. I already told you about the sensors. So, oh, the uh, thermostats, we're gonna have the actual thermostats in the furnace room like these are, and then just have the sensors outside for sensors. Okay. Um, AC I'll go over in a minute. Um, the drain, just to the floor drain, standard order with the humidifier. Um, the humidifier, I talked about that already. The power, reuse the box, add a new switch and cover. Okay, um, on the AC, we are going to flush the lines and this AC here goes on the rough and I'll show you. And you know what? I have flushed the lines but it just may be better to just I'm gonna use less copper and anyway. Yeah, flush the lines, or or run new. It's gonna you're gonna have to have the same amount of copper. Um, just make sure you have um, some line set. There, you see three quarter inch line sets. Okay, let's go outside. This side door here. Okay, so right now the AC is up on the roof, but we're gonna move it down um, onto the ground. So, you know, that's how much copper you'll need to make sure you have on your truck with, you know, insulation and everything. Um, so we'll get the electrician involved and the disconnect, we'll just abandon this disconnect and uh, we'll take this plug and conduit and he'll just take this conduit and turn it the LB and reuse stuff and put just put the disconnect down here. And uh tap onto it with your disconnect with your uh onto the disconnect. Okay. Um, okay, so let's go in and look at uh, why we're outside. Let's look at the other side of the air conditioner. <coughs> Come around the back side. Okay, this is the uh, west side. So flush the lines, make sure you have enough um, Rubitex to slide new Rubitex over. We use the existing disconnect. Um, we use the existing pad. So both breakers and the panels, they're in the panels were in the furnace rooms and they're okay. Um, so we don't need any pads because this is concrete. Okay, let's go in. furnace come through the common area let me back here 
This is the east furnace room. Oops. Oh, and it just locked. Gosh darn it. Um. Shoot. Okay, well, we'll go over the east furnace in a minute. Um. Okay, so I have here a map of of the common area. Um, and this beam here, I believe, is a splitting factor of sides. So I don't need to lay out all the vents. I wrote them down. Okay, I'm going to have to unlock this room real quick. You unlock this furnace room back here. Yes. It locked on me. This is the east furnace room. Uh, Sorry, is... west. Yeah, I'm done. Like, okay. <laughs> um, okay, this is the west furnace room. Oh, I didn't say on the flues. On the flues, you're going to add a made a 10 by 10 fire ring. Just bend a one inch down on one side, then it'll be. Um, And so you're gonna spin this 90 around and reuse this existing reducer and put it on the end of the 90 and get rid of the T. And then just um, rehook up the pipe as needed. And same on the other side. Combustion air is okay. Pretty much everything's the same um, except for the AC. Um, this one, I do have a cut line one inch down and then a canvas and then a transition. With return, I have cut line one inch in from each side, cut line here. Um, that furnace will be two inches from the wall. Um, and the same layout. This water, you know, just abandon this one and I'll give you a shark bite fitting and take water from the hot. Um, okay, drain just to the floor. Um, furnace vent, two inch out to a flat termination. Um, thermostat stats right here. Sensor is over here and right here. So that one will be wired, I believe. I'll take it off and make sure. Um, and. Well, let's say that's it. Oh, so there is an attic access if you needed it for some reason. Um, on the top floor, there it is. On the top floor, east bedroom, back east bedroom, in the closet, there's an attic access. Okay, that's, that's it for now.